Today I'm going to show you how to set up a pipeline with our platform. It's a simple way for you to queue your content for publishing without having to worry about what time it gets posted or how many posts a day you've already made. You can also use multiple pipelines to split up your content into different streams of posts that get posted with their own individual schedule. So um, these colors here are different types of pipelines. If I go back a week, you can see that um, we have uh, other ones for our news. These are our blogs here. We have a 30 day thread. Um, and then we have uh, some for Instagram, etc. So um, this allows us to split it up, understand how our audience is reacting to all the different types of content individually, and it gives us a better insight um, on what they like, what they don't like. So if you have a pipeline, you can either choose how often you'd like to post in the week, and we'll pick the best day and the best time to post. If you want a little bit more control, you can use the power scheduler here to uh, pick the day, and then we'll choose the perfect hour to post it at. And if you want total control, you can use the manual power schedule by choosing the perfect day, the time, all the way down to the second if you have like a press release or something that's time sensitive to post as well. So this is how flexible the pipelines are. Here's our content already queued up in the calendar and optimized to the degree that we choose. So now you understand the power of the pipeline, let's set one up here. So um, we're gonna go to pipelines over here. Um, you can see once again, here's our pipelines and they all have their own different schedules. Like I said, so Australia is, has its own schedule. And then we have different ones with RSS feeds, uh, split by content and even one for Instagram split by, um, the different networks here. So let's create a new one. We're going to do an RSS feed for YouTube. So, um, this is the regular pipeline. You get to choose how often you post per day, if it repeats and the schedule that it corresponds to. And then we also have quotes, but we have a whole video on that. So you can click on the top right corner to check that out. Today, we're going to do a RSS feed. Um, we can name it here. So anything we want, and then we pick the, um, networks we'd like to put it on. So, uh, today we're just going to do Twitter for this and let's go to our rss feed where we'll put the youtube channel in um, so there's our link we click search and then here's the feed link for the rss feed so if you want to import your old posts from the feed that'll do that uh, which is nice if you're not posting anything new in the moment and you want to keep refreshing it and then you can exclude some keywords like instagram for example so let's say i'm posting to twitter and i have videos that include the tags instagram well then i probably don't want to be posting about instagram on twitter so this is where you can get really custom with your your strategy here um, by optimizing pipelines exactly the way you need it so Let's include some hashtags if we want to get posted with each video and then we can refetch from the feed when it's empty as well. Um, so there we go. That's the RSS feed. We can post uh, once per day, twice per day, anything you want, but we're going to keep it at one. Um, if we choose to repeat it, it's going to post once and then retweet once more. No more after that. And if it's on another platform, it's going to post twice. So it's not going to spam your audience as well, but we're not going to keep that on. Um, and lastly, we can choose a schedule, like for example, I can do it for the Americas or uh, Australia if I'd like, but we're going to use a new schedule just to show you how to set that up. Finally, let's pick the color here and we'll choose save. So here's our new pipeline here, RSS YouTube with its corresponding new schedule. So let's go to the post calendar. Um, at midnight tonight, it's going to populate. So I have it at once a day, which is what it's going to do. There's going to be one post a day and it's going to refresh that old content. So um, we can go to our hours button here if we want to uh, check out that new schedule that we created. So there we go. Um, like I said, it's going to be posted once a day. So there we go. Every day is selected. It's going to be optimized for the best times corresponding to your audience. We look at how often your audience is online. For example, this is our audience and you can change it for different time zones or you can do it for your whole audience. So um, let's say we'd like to post it once on Sunday and no more, we can do that. Let's say you wanna post it on Friday as well, but you want to make sure you have a specific range of time that it's gonna be available. There you can do that as well. So you have total customizability. You can choose your times you like to post. If you don't know what time you like to post, you can keep it optimized for your audience, which will choose the best times when they're online. And you can choose how often in the day it's going to post. But 
So for example, we have it once on Sunday. So every Sunday, there's gonna be a one post of a video. And if we'd like to include Friday in the evening, we're just gonna select one post on Friday as well. So make sure to remember how often your, your pipeline posts, because if you customize this, it's going to remember that you only wanted one post per day in the pipeline settings. So we'll click save here. Now we're ready to go. Um, so it's going to post once on Friday in the evening and once on Sunday at the best time. So at this moment, it's going to take a little bit to populate, but we can look at our different pipelines already here. I just want to show you that you can split up your calendar here. You can take a look at your different types um, all alone, and then you can click the list view so you can see what's really going on. Um, you can see that these are all being reposted because um, we have the repeat feature on our blog. And then you can rearrange them if you don't like how they're how they're posted in time. And not only that, you can edit them, delete them right from here, um, or do the same on each post. You can you can edit and, and whatnot there. So when you segment your content into different streams like this, not only do you get more control on when they post and how they're optimized when they're queued in your calendar, you also get to check the engagement metrics that are specific to each type of content so you can understand how your audience reacts to your different types of posts. For example, if I'm gonna filter them here by pipeline, I'm gonna pick the blog and we can hit update here. So this is how people react to the blog. So we can look at our engagement metrics, see how they're working. Um, you can sort by how, whatever you'd like, impressions for example. And then if you wanna check out our 30 day threads, you can see um, that people react to the different types of content in a totally different way. Um, so let's look at our uh, news Twitter, for example. Um, same thing, people are, look, are looking at it differently. Um, this is how you, you truly get to strategize by looking at what people like with your content. You can figure out easily if, you, if they don't like a certain type of content um, over another and, uh, and much more than that. So this is the power of the pipeline. I hope you learned something today and thank you so much for watching. Let me know if you want to see anything else in the comments below. Have a good one.